you for coming, despite the rain. Um, yeah, I'm happy to play at the Jazz Museum today with Alfred Jordan on the drums. <laughs> Gladney on tenor saxophone. And Shea Pierre on piano. So, um, yeah, this gig is an opportunity to, to try some stuff out. I rarely play with piano with my band uh, in France. That's where I live, um, in Paris. So I'm happy to, to do this tonight, uh, today. This is a 2 p.m. gig. I need to, I need to get used to it. <laughs> All right, we'll try an, an, a tune of mine that is called Feuillet et Beer. Uh, what to say about it? It's a weird tune.
asparagus? You, you're going to notice some. I'm sure. I am certain.
Salewo aka wolewo Ila wo lewo aka hala Kelo bulio kasirio ker i e Thank you. 
the text, the, the text, yeah, improv. I just forgot my book though. Ha ha. I have to go get it. You can start with that. in New Orleans because of a, a, a residency that I'm doing to study the links between the Caribbean and New Orleans. And I want to share um, a text that I love. It's from a, a book called The Great Camouflage, written by Suzanne Césaire. She's a fantastic writer from Martinique, where I'm from. And um, yeah, you can hear what she writes is really strong. And when abruptly in the Caribbean night, all decked out in love and quiet, there bursts forth the call of drums. The blacks ready themselves to respond to the desires of the earth and off the dance. The landowners lock themselves up in their mansions and behind their metallic spider web curtains. They are under the electric light, so like pale and entrapped moth. Around them, the tropical night swells with rhythms. Virgil's hips have taken their cataclysmic speed from heaving rising from the depth to the flanks of the volcanoes. And it is Africa herself, who from across the Atlantic and the centuries predating the slave ships, dictates to our Antillian children the gaze of sun-filled desire the gaze of sun-fell desire that the dancer exchange. Their cry exclaims in a husky and full voice that Africa is still there. Present that she waits, undulating, devour of whites, immensely virgin in spite of colonization. And upon faces constantly bathed in murray and effluvia, close to the islands, on this small restricted lands, surrounded by water like great impassable gulfs. The tremendous wind passes by, 
come from another continent. Antilles, Africa, thanks to the drums, the nostalgia for earthly spaces lives on in the hearts of these isolators. Who will overcome this nostalgia? Suzanne Roussy Césaire. 
be here, yet I feel more at home than in my own house. And the white birds are gone.
Alfred Jordan on the drums, y'all. Gladney on tenor saxophone. Shea Pierre on piano. Thank you to the Jazz Museum for having us. Thank you. Glad, glad me. Shea Pierre, Alfred Jordan. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, all the team, for the sound, the lights. Um, and thank you for coming despite the rain. I got some CDs with me if you want to come back home with some music. You can only find it here. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, thank you. Bye bye.